The Honourable Member from Charlottetown, Brighton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. While tourists can choose between five-star luxury to roughing it at campgrounds, there's no such flexibility for islanders looking for housing. Every stick has to be stamped lumber, and water and sewer systems have to meet exacting standards. Generally, codes do not allow occupancy until the building is completed, and many municipalities require that the building be completed in one year. When I first came to PEI, lots of my friends started their own dwellings in the woods, most often built with wood harvested on their lot. Their simple structures were typically occupied as soon as closed in, and more often than not without any services whatsoever. Outhouse in the woods, no power, but a wood stove for heat and cooking, no water except what you carried in, and weekly showers at the nearest government campground. These humble beginnings now have all transformed into fully serviced homes, but being built gradually, most often without a mortgage. Imagine a home without a mortgage. Mr. Speaker, we need to set up a system that allows people to start their own homes on a shoestring and allows occupation of incomplete structures mm -hmm. so the rent saved can be used for growing a home, growing, growing a mortgage-free, affordable home. This is not a building code issue. It's a regulatory issue. If people are allowed to suffer lack of comfort in a campground, why should the same people not be allowed to suffer the same lack of comfort while building their own home? Yes, safety codes must be observed, observed such as using an approved wood stove and chimney installed correctly, but flush toilet or water heater, surely they can be dispensed with on a temporary basis. Building your own home like the pioneers and back to landers did in the past is not for everyone. But why not help those who want to help islanders with woods continue to build their own home gradually and without a mortgage as they have always done? Thank you, Mr. Speaker.